Why do I think that Metal Valley material is bad to put on your house? Let me show you. All right, so this house has a leak and the leak is showing up uh, by their front door somewhere right around in this area here. And um, so getting up on the roof, obviously this valley, first thing that we're gonna look at. And what do I see? Sorry, I'm moving slow. That's kind of steep and granules are real loose. But what do I see? We've got creases in the metal which have then resulted in cracks in the metal and so the reason that that happens is because this is this is this valley metal is one uh, roll 20 inches wide or it could be 24 inches wide and when it gets rolled out it's just a flat piece of metal just lays flat so then when you try to put it in a valley and you have to crease it, you know, you have to bend it to have it conform to the shape of the valley, it can crease that metal. So that's where our suspect leak is. And then if I come over here on the other side of the roof and, you know, it's more of a problem in these long valleys. That's where I usually will see it. But you can see the exact same things going on right there. Well, if the roofer that installed this installed an ice and water shield barrier uh, underneath this valley metal here well maybe then it's not going to be that big of a problem but if he didn't and you got holes in the valley that water's going to go through the hole get to the roof deck and it's going to find whatever means it can to come down through the roof so nails that are holding on the shingles, holding on the felt paper, whatever, any penetration that it can find, that water will come through your roof. So what could this roofer have done differently? Well, there's a couple things. If he just absolutely wanted to use metal, then he could have used what's called W Valley Metal, which just like the name says, it's shaped like a W and it's, it's bent to conform to the contour of a valley so that way you're not having to try to bend the metal as you're rolling it out the other thing that you could do in a valley is not use metal at all and just simply put ice and water shield in there that way the ice and water shield is going to seal around any nails any penetrations so as you're nailing the felt paper on the synthetic underlayment as you're nailing the shingles on as it's going through the ice and water shield which is kind of a, a rubberized membrane it's going to seal around those nails and make sure that water can't follow the nails down through the roof okay so that's why i don't like rolled valley metal again i'm not opposed to putting metal in the valley if you're going to use the w valley then that's fine a better solution in my opinion is avoid putting metal in it put ice and water shield down in. If you want to use metal, use the W Valley metal that conforms to the contour of the valley. All right, I know today's video was pretty quick, pretty easy, but if you've got any questions about your roof, whether you need a roof repair or a whole roof replacement, give us a call at our office phone number right up here, 719-433-6991. You can also visit our website. That's right down here, homesteadroofingcolorado.com. We've got a ton of information out there. Also, we'd love it if you would like this video, give us the big thumbs up, comment in the comment section down below. Also, we'd love it if you subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon up there so that way you get notified when we've got new videos. Until our next video, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.